sets up um, uh, some of the whole context of my visit to uh, the University of Texas in Austin uh, earlier this summer, a uh, visit to the archives of George Macy. Um, and so um, here um, are just a few of the mentions of George Macy in my dissertation. I've just copied and pasted these and I just kind of made the sentences kind of easier to, to look at if, if you want to. I'm not gonna read all of them, but um, so in 1936, uh, so George Macy is really one of the very important people in Fritz Eichenberg's life other than Dorothy Day. George Macy is really the um, uh, author who uh, helped to get, uh, he is the book publisher who really helped to get Fritz Eichenberg's career as a book illustrator moving along in 1936 um, it, with this uh, series of books that uh, George Macy would uh, have people subscribe to receive the latest editions of books that were published on very nice paper, hardcover, uh, and illustrated by artists um, such as Picasso, Matisse, Salvador Dali, so very, very, very well-known artists. And then Fritz Eichenberg, not quite as well-known, but a very professional artist and uh, book illustrator. Um, so um, they got along very well immediately and Fritz Eichenberg was given the assignment of illustrating Dostoevsky's Crime and Punishment. Um, and so here is uh, just kind of the inside cover of that. You probably heard me talking some about Dostoevsky, about co-teaching courses on Dostoevsky with Jamie Olson here at St. Martin's, going on a trip to Russia uh, and um, so forth. Um, all of that because Fritz Eichenberg, after illustrating Crime and Punishment, became very well, um, like really kind of an illustrator of Russian novels more so than anything else. Um, and so again, here's just a few mentions of George Macy in my dissertation, just that he continued to support Eichenberg's career by giving him assignments for illustrating books such as Gulliver's Travel, um, uh, the works of William Shakespeare, other Russian authors such as Turgenev and Pushkin. Um, and, um, so um, some part of the uh, significance then of his book illustration also that ties in very closely, um, one just uh, that he felt really that Dostoevsky uh, was a very strong spiritual influence on him, but also that um, he uh, met Dorothy Day at a book publishing uh, conference at uh, a Quaker a retreat center, and in part, they connected over their mutual love of Dostoevsky, as Dorothy Day was also a big fan of Dostoevsky. Um, okay, so that basically led me to uh, the visit to George Macy's um, archives. And as far as what I found at the archives, um, you know, what I've presented so far is just to kind of show you the context of who George Macy is within the life of um, Fritz Eichenberg, and that uh, this is information that I found at the archive related to revising my uh, dissertation into a book, and that um, George Macy, uh, uh, the archives, the visit to the archives really gave me a lot of much more detail than I previously had as far as um, now really kind of going into this is a little bit boring. Um, these are just letters between the book publisher, the illustrator, the printer, um, the paper supplier. Um, you know, they're talking about, um, you know, how, how, how many inches should the margins be? Uh, what kind of materials should the 
a book cover be on um, and all of this. Um, it's not really very interesting in that sense, but it is useful for me um, to really, if anything, date things. Um, so a lot of this is just getting into historical details. When exactly? Um, so the other thing is that um, when he uh, met Dorothy Day in 1949, um, 1949 is the year that he also, uh, the his illustrations and the book uh, he illustrated for uh, Brothers Karamazov was also uh, uh printed and uh, released in 1949. It gave me the idea, but I was wondering, um, was he in the process of illustrating Brothers Karamazov when he met Dorothy Day? Um, this trip actually helped me realize that he had actually completed those illustrations a couple years before meeting Dorothy Day. So it's just a little bit of more detail. And especially because Fritz Eichenberg was um, illustrating Crime and Punishment, I think he actually began illustrating that um, before his wife died. And then um, they, uh, I see that um, he uh, basically spent a month uh, in depression um, uh, in one of his friend's basements um, until he recovered. Uh, so like um, his wife died in the middle of his illustrating Crime and Punishment um, he completed the illustrations to Brother Karamazov a few years before he met Dorothy Day, but kind of the connections between those major life events and those uh, books that he uh, illustrated. 